Hey guys, I'm here bringing you another video. Now today is another episode of Unranked to Diamond. This is the series that I take a fresh account, smurf account, never paid rank before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. Um, so yeah, we return after a not so great uh, last couple of episodes, um, and I did actually take a little break. The episodes that you watched, or the last episodes, they were actually recorded maybe a week ago, so I've had like that week off recording, doing Unranked to Diamond, just kind of chilling out. Um, and I think I needed it, you know, as well as very busy assignment time for me, so just got that out of the way and, uh, yeah, ready to go back again. And uh, now before I explain everything, just to quickly say, you might see a red wire around my neck. I am actually doing slightly something a little bit different. It's actually quite rare for me not to play music when playing League, and obviously YouTube being YouTube, I can't play my normal music. So I've actually got some wireless headphones underneath my big ones, um, just to listen to music while playing at a very low volume that hopefully won't distract me for doing a commentary. It's just for me to kind of get back into the mode of actually winning games. Um, but anyway, let's just kind of break down what's happening right now. So just to kind of say we return at Platinum 161 LP, so that most likely is two wins away from Promotion Series to Diamond. And the bands going on right now, Vane, Rengar, Lee Sin, okay, and Ajax, yes, so very weird bands are happening. Alawi's not banned and other things are not banned. So yeah, that's, that's kind of a bit bizarre. Um, but then also below the camera is all the champions that this account currently owns. The ones that are in white I could play at any random time. The ones that are in black are reminders for me. Play this champion more and I might be able to carry more. And the ones that are in yellow are donated to champions that, you know, people want me to play. And I will get round to them, I promise. It's just at the moment, um, not right now. Anyway, uh, what are we going to play? So if you, well, you might have watched the Alawi episode the other week or what was it like a week ago um since then i've actually been playing quite a lot of alawi on my main account and i've actually managed to get ranked about the 150th best alawi in the world surprisingly um that is using the website lolskill.net that i use for the loading screen uh, or at least the, the statistics that i edit in um but i'd be pretty much able to get anywhere i want like probably top lane i'm not entirely sure where this cure espion is or cute espion is going um so yeah, when we, when we find out where he's going, then I can just go wherever. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do I... Oh, Mundo. Okay, we'll probably play Mundo if um, I'm allowed to. Um, but yeah, Mundo at the moment is really ridiculously strong. And so is the Thunderlords. Um mastery by the way of obviously these episodes change all the time and I, they come out like a few days later so a patch can be in between them uh, but i just would say at the moment of me recording this, this is the 13th of december um thunderlords is ridiculously strong and most people take it like every single on every single champion in the game most of the time anyway what am i going to play i think i'm just gonna go mundo like he i guess i said he's incredibly strong right now um, as for runes though, I don't actually have perfect runes for Mundo. I probably would just go with the attack speed though. Or do I just go flat? He does do a lot of AP damage, but you don't really want to take AP stuff on Mundo. Okay, we'll just go flat and now we'll make a new mastery page. I should probably like name these, but I'm always really lazy and they're constantly changing. Right, ability damage. Sustain, more sustain, and always do the damage to the slow because you'll always permanently have them slowed. We're not going to go the Thunderlords um, on Mundo because obviously I am kind of a pure tank. Uh, no, we want to go Grasp of the Undying, I believe. Um, obviously don't have any skins on Mundo. They get the Brand, who Brand is also very strong. He probably is Brand mid, but that's fine as well. Yeah, I think this is the way we want to do it. What is this one? Strength of the Ages. Siege minions and minions that you are nearby grant 20. Oh, well, that's actually pretty cool, but not worth it because they'll just die really quickly anyway. Don't know who I'm against top lane yet, unless it's a Wukong, which I doubt. I, d I don't see many Wukongs um, top lane anymore. So it does believe, I do believe everybody pretty much gets the role that they want, um, which is pretty cool. That's always nice when that happens, uh, especially in solo queue, because a lot of people in solo queue only play one role. Um, so yeah, it's always nice when people do manage to get what they want to play. Just checking, what's this one? Reduces the cooldown of summoner spells for 15% or base regen. I think I'm actually going to change that to the regen because Mundo, he, he, he is pretty damn strong in a 1v1, but having that extra sustain just makes him even more annoying rather than having the cooldown reduction on, I guess, teleport and flash. is still pretty important, but 
not as important enough to take um, that spell, I think. Okay, we got a Kindred. I like our team comp. I like our team comp. We've got a lot of damage. Rise, MF, Kindred. We've got a potential grab hook engage with the Blitzcrank. And then we have a massive front lane with a Mundo. That actually does deal damage. So our, our team comp is actually really nice. Uh, the enemy team so far... They have, you know, good champions. You know, Nami isn't amazingly good in the meta right now because it's so much bruisery burst that she doesn't do any damage and she'll just get exploded straight away. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and then Wukong, again, he's okay in the current meta, but he's very squishy and he can some some of the time just find that he can't really do anything. Um, Brand, very strong at the moment. Uh, you do go actually Thunderlords not on Brand now. You do not go... Um, that whatever one it is, the um, Deathfire. Yeah, you don't even go that. A lot of people still are going that on Brand because it's like, oh, a dot champion for Brand. It's not worth it. Thunderlords is just that powerful. Um, Jinx is pretty strong and then an Udyr. I don't like Udyr, but occasionally they can do well. But anyway, let's break down today's game um, using the loading screen that I normally do or using uh, lolskill.net. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. So this is where I use the website lolskill.net to break down today's game. Um, so the enemy team has a 52.3% chance to win today's game and we can kind of see why they have a lot more experience on their champions in terms of the Ryze on my team has never played Ryze before, the Kindred has only played one game of Kindred and obviously me on this account has only played two games of Mundo so that's kind of where the big difference is. Uh, but anyway, it's a Diamond 5 Nami, a Diamond 5 Wukong, Diamond 5 Brand, Diamond 5 Jinx and a Platinum 2 Udyr who's most likely duo Q or somebody. Um, a Diamond 5 Rise, never played Rise before, Diamond 5 Misfortune, Platinum 1 Mundo as myself being the Smurf, Diamond 5 Blitzcrank and a Platinum 1 Kindred, only played one game of Kindred before. Um, so yeah, team comp wise, uh, this could be good or bad, you know, if Kindred gets behind she doesn't really do anything, and even if she gets fed, a Kindred needs a team in order to kind of help her carry, that is one of the weaknesses with Kindred. Um... And then as for the enemy team, I don't know, if Brand gets strong, it's going to be a, a risk, you know, how are we going to beat them in team fights? Wukong as well. Um, and then Udyr versus me in top lane as Mundo. I don't know how this matchup is going to go. I don't see uh, Udyr as a top laner whatsoever. Um, his trading potential, I guess, is okay if he goes Tiger. But I will just get stupidly tanky, you know, fairly quickly. So I don't see him killing me. And Mundo is actually surprisingly good at killing people. But anyway, let's go into today's game and uh, see how we do. Okay, welcome to today's game. So I am playing Dr. Mundo, uh, known as one of the strongest champions in the game right now, just because he's so tanky and actually does a lot of damage. So we'll hopefully do our best in top lane. Uh, a lot of people are playing Mundo in the jungle, and um, it's definitely an option. The pro jungle probably is his strongest role at the moment. Oh, oh, he's going Phoenix. I'm not going to die, so I don't really care about the damage that they're putting on me. But he's gone fit. Oh, it's AP, oh dear. Okay, Mega Cheese. It's warded. Okay, he's going Cheese, oh dear. If you've watched this series for a long time, or if this is your first episode, you know, I'm somebody that just doesn't like cheese techniques. I, it's just me. I personally just don't like it. So, uh, okay, so we'll just rush the Spirit Visage, and that's perfect item for Mundo, and counters the AP, oh dear. That's okay for me. Yeah, I can kind of see this uh, Udyr trying to do the blue because he's taken Phoenix and he's AP, so it does kind of it quick and then has got teleport. So he'll do the blue. Wait a minute. Wukong has no Keystone. Did he forget Masteries? Let's look. Uh, no, he's gone 8 11 11. That's really stupid. <laughs> Um, I will just say as a bit of a, like a little thing, never do like an 8, 11, 11 Keystone Masteries. The whole Mastery system was changed to introduce Keystones because they're strong. Like, don't not take a Keystone Mastery. Before, you might have been able to do it with the old Masteries, but not the new ones because Keystones are the reason that they changed them. Um, so if you were to skip Champion Select, you will not know that I've actually got, if you kind of see a little... Um, red wire around my neck. I'm actually listening to music um, while recording this because usually I play with music and uh, just to try and get myself back on track I thought hey let's just do an episode of me listening to music as well just to hopefully play quite well. That's really bad. Um, so this Rise has never played Rise before and so that means I don't really have a great confidence in him and then he's against the Brand who is obviously one of the strongest mid laners in the game right now. And is already dead. So that's not great, is it? 
All right, so I'm just going to kind of poke this guy. Like, I just don't see how he's going to be useful against me. Maybe suddenly he'll kill me, but I, I really doubt it. Because I even reduce his stun on me with my W on. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay, no flash. Like, what? I don't understand why I go APU deer. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Um, but yeah, we'll try and carry this game. The, the weird thing is, top lane is a lane that sometimes you have no impact in the game and you just your team dies and you're like, oh, I just lose the game because I'm top. But then there are some champions in top lane, like Anu, uh, Mundo, sorry, that if you just do really well, you get strong in your lane, you can just like not die in like team fights and stuff and just wreck. They just won't be able to kill you and it's just brilliant. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that this game. Because I, I just see that I have a free lane. That's practically what I'm thinking right now. I have a free lane that I either can go for kills on him or I can just free farm. And I'm just going to try and do both. Um, I'm going to push it into the tower though because I kind of feel that a gank could come. I don't know if I die in a, in a gank, but you know you don't really want to risk it. So... He's got no potions as well. Okay, Wukong's medical. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I seriously don't know what <laughs> it's supposed to do. This is only going to get worse for him. Like, oh, oh well. Uh, right, we'll go back. He hasn't got teleport. I do, but I'm probably not even going to use it. Buy the uh, Spectrus Cal first. Buy! <laughs> Buy four potions so we'll stay in lane for like a million years. And uh, yeah, this is going well for me. Yeah, hopefully you all are having a nice festive season. Obviously it is now the beginning, or the middle rather, of December. Um... Well, yeah, I, I imagine a lot of you have already broken up from uni or college. I've still got one more week myself, and I've got an assignment to hand in tomorrow. That is the Monday. This rise is dead again. Um, but yeah, I really don't have the confidence in this rise. It's like, he's probably going to be the weak point in our team. Um, and this is what I say, like, there are some champions that are really good. Like, rise at the moment, I think, is incredibly strong with um, the, the Keystone Mastery. That is got buff with Thunderlord's decree. It's stupidly strong on him because you're always going to get three damage on people. Um, but yeah, I was taking a bit too many minions then, but I still easily won the trade. And there's my ult just going off, just to get back to full health. Um, and Ude, I can probably dive him. It just will Wukong come. Because he doesn't have flash either, so and I do. So hopefully I can kill him and then just flash out. We're going to go for it. I've got no vision for the Wukong, but YOLO. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more of a fight then, to be honest. Nice. That was good. Good kill by Kindred. Good kill, guys. There we go. So as long as... oh, I always kind of think as long as two lanes win then you're looking for a pretty much a win. As long as it, the, you know, the one that's losing is not a complete stomp. Um, so the Rise is losing, but only like he's only 5 CS down, so that's actually not losing like really badly. I'm wrecking top lane. I'm more than double CS killed him twice already. And then bot lane is now winning. So yeah, this game is now looking pretty good. Um, so yeah. Is everybody in order? No. Oh my god, Justin Bieber just came on. Someone killed me. I can't change the song. <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean, Justin. Uh, I'm, I'm changing the song. Screw that for a laugh. Alright. Um, okay, I don't need to get boots yet. I'm like a walking tank. Let's do this. Just to spite him and be like, what are you doing? APU, dude. Oh. I thought I'd kill him a lot. Oh, God. 
Okay, we're going to stop blowing. I was a bit ambitious going for that dive then, but I was testing my power limits. My power level is not over 9,000. Wait, wow, that's actually not a lot in current Dragon Ball Z, is it? Uh, no. Alright, I'll just kill him. Oh wait, I can kill him. Why am I running away? I could have killed Wukong easily. Oh well. I wonder if Wukong would jump on me. Like, again, he has no Keystone Mastery, so he has no real strength. Like, if you Thunder Lord's the Kree, he could E on you, Q you, ult you, and then the Thunder Lord's would proc. Like, that's a lot of damage. But he doesn't have it for some reason. <laughs> hey, oh dear. He's still got only a Doran. He's still no potions. Doran's uh, ring and boots. I hope you guys are seeing the funny funny side of this as well. Oh my god. Alright, we got Spirit Visage. <laughs> At nine minutes. Not bad. <laughs> they should probably just back in bot lane. Being at that health is pretty risky. Uh, but yeah, this game is now going... Well, it was, it's going okay, like I said, but... Mid lane is still struggling. He's 0-3, nearly 60 CS, so he's 15 CS down. We're dying three times. Not great, honestly. There we go. Rise just came into battle. Never mind. <laughs> Everything I just said, forget about it. Didn't happen. That's probably Rise going uh, one ball combo with the ultimate with Thunderlord's Decree. You can't kill him. Like, oh, you can't 1v1 a Rise if he manages to lock you down. It's just ridiculous. I've been playing with a few Rises over the next, last couple of days, and it's they just—it's <laughs> just like a machine gun of damage. I was just looking if Red was up. That would have been nice. Um, it would be kind of cool if Kindred came top lane, not to gank. I don't care about her ganking, just to get the um, thingy. Hmm. I don't do a lot of damage yet. The damage will kill oh God. That's risky. But the MF hasn't moved. Okay, we got the dragon. I don't... Like, sometimes I, I never get why don't AD carries move. Like, now two people just died. Because MF didn't move. Like, I don't get it. Just move. It's good that we got the dragon at least. Like, if we didn't get the dragon, that would have been really bad. Oh my god, guys, he's got a blasting wand. I know he's going Ginsu's, isn't he? Oh! Do we have the rage? Oh, I love it. Is she actually a HIFK? <laughs> then mute. Hmm. God damn it. Some people like this MF are just pathetic. Like, <laughs> they should just get banned. Uh... Oh my god. Like, what is wrong with these people? Like, sometimes I do question that people must have something wrong with them. Like, they must. And I know that sounds offensive. It probably is. I don't honestly care. They must have something wrong with them. Okay, now I'll kill you. Don't take my kill. Thank you. You get your mark. Wait, do you get the mark if you get an assist? Oh, I didn't go off. Lol. Alright, we killed him again and got the tower ready. Oh, look, she's now playing. Oh, I'm going to report this MF after this game. Yeah, hopefully my commentary is okay. Like I mentioned, I am listening to music while playing. It kind of just chills me out and makes me play better usually. 
Um, so hopefully it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. All oh, rise. He's sh dead. Maybe. Oh. Let me go back. Will it reach? Uh, damn it! <laughs> okay, Kindred just killed Bran, that's good. Udyr is mid lane, so I guess I'll just continue going top. I did <laughs> he's dead to a kindred. Maybe? Oh no. Lol. That Wukong showed up right at the perfect timing. But yeah, I really don't get what this guy's doing. Like, I'm not gonna say he's trolling, because he he's not trolling because he's trying. Like he's he's actively playing, but like what is your thought? What is his thought process in order to win? Like I even if I wasn't playing Mundo, if I was playing Renekton, if I was playing Nar, I just don't see how AP Udyr can do something. I think I've played against it this series, but I think I was on tilt or something when I played it. But against it or whatever. Like, I just don't see it. I just don't see how it can be useful. Like, even if, say, you do okay in lane, what are you going to do in team fights? You're still a new deer that just runs in and gets kited. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't know. I am really fed. <laughs> like what? I didn't even stand in her stun, but she was kind of just like standing still. That was really weird. Okay, I'm out. I'm gonna go look for Bran now. Okay, can someone go cover that, please? Ow, it tickled. Oh yeah, if I start singing, then you know why, because it's the the music I'm currently listening to. Oh look at the power of AP Mun- uh, Udyr. I keep saying Mundo. Yep, okay. <laughs> My kindred can now kill him really easily. I guess I'll just go for an hit and hit. And yeah, machine gun rise. Don't know where Wukong is. Oh, they're dead. That rocket. Now that Jinx has used Rocket, they should go on bot lane, yeah. Nice! That was really good. I think Thunderlord's Decree procced and then MF Alt could finish her off. There we go. This is probably going to be a win. And this is what I mean. I just needed one game to carry and get back on track with this series because the last couple episodes were me playing just terribly. Yeah, I, like this game, I don't know really what I can kind of commentate on in the fact that like theory crafting and all this stuff, or just anal analyzing. Um, he's going Ginsu Udyr with two Doran's rings. There's nothing good to say about that. Wukong actually played quite well in the early stage. They shut down uh, Rise really well, but then Rise has turned into Rise. He's turned into Mach Machine Gun Rise with the Thunderlord's decree. Like, it's ridiculously strong. Uh-oh. Press that ultimate. Oh, she doesn't have ultimate. If you get caught as a kindred without ultimate, you pretty much are like caught with your pants down. You're just going to die. Not good. Two free deaths with dragon. And I don't have teleport, unfortunately. They should like go for it, maybe with MF ult. 
Oh, she doesn't have them up all. Why isn't the zoo deer standing next to me? Now he is. Yeah, we could do that. I really could use that. I could have used that several times in this game. Um, and I probably would have gotten unhit by now. Um... She can have the kill, I don't really care about that. There we go. Um, so the new Rift Herald, basically, they kind of realised that sometimes someone takes the kill by accident, but the other person wanted the buff. So they separated both of them. It's risky because a lot of the time um, enemies could be around. But what I believe they did, and I'm not sure if this is confirmed, but you can kill it. Whoever gets the kill gets the kill. Um, but then the the buff drops on the floor, and I believe it drops on the floor to the team that killed it, or one of the people that killed it, and that kind of guarantees that you'll pick it up. I think that's what they did, um, because obviously that just dropped right on my feet. Anyway, we're going to go for this. I'm going to tank it for a little while. No. No, 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 come back. I wasn't really paying attention to, like, if there was a team fight going on down here because I was trying to focus on the Udyr and the Nami. I nearly got them. Like, I flashed the ultimate. Um, yeah, then nothing really else happened. I've got ultimate back soon so I can regen. But they're not letting me get this tower. I know they probably shouldn't let me, but it's just annoying. I've been trying to get it for ages. Go machine gun rise. Oh, that rocket. That Wukong feel flashed. I need ult really badly. <laughs> and now kill him. Damn, I couldn't kill him. Yeah, I think this game is a combination of one, they didn't ban Mundo, and I'm an okay Mundo. And the second point is, they went a it. Like, but it's a combination of the two. Like, that is a mixture just for the Mundo getting fed. We can two mana, maybe. I don't know, well, actually, I don't know how much damage she does. Her build is really weird. Well, I've started it. <laughs> Let's go. I got all in five. I'm gonna press it when it's up. Yeah, this is free. I'll base after we get it, and then I can TP back if needed. Oh, they got him. Nice. That's good. This is probably gonna. Whoa! I got four thousand gold. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oops. Alright, I'll go bot lane and push this up. I like having all lanes pushed. But yeah, this is a pretty good game so far, I think. I just... I want them to be careful. Like, hopefully they don't go all in without... Like, if they were f as grouped as four, it wouldn't be as bad, but now Kindred has even gone back, so they should just probably back off. Yeah, if they come to me and we get this tier two, that would be a really good rotation from them. Yeah, good job. 
That was good. Yeah, I'm not gonna die. I've even now got warm mogs that just regens me. Look at you can vi physically see the regening happening. Like that's crazy. Uh, I don't know what happened to MF, she just didn't kind of run up with me. <laughs> the brand, oh my god, what's he doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there, that was brilliant though. Uh, I should be fine. Yeah. Alright, that'll do. Oh god, that brand. He cut, I don't know what he tried to do then. I think he thought, oh, I'm gonna flash, but he didn't have mana or he wasn't in range or something. I don't even know. That was funny though. Rip. Now he's just going top. Ryze isn't really grouping a lot. Like, you know, I'm not grouping him like a crazy amount, but. Um, I'm a Mundo. So, current Mundo 1v1 is pretty much anything in the game. Where Ryze is a, like a machine gun team killer. Oh. <laughs> okay! Oh! Oh! Kindred! I can get in it! Ult! Oh. She should have ulted when I was in their base, because they could have kept attacking them and I would have survived. Oh, that wasn't great. My first death. I went a bit wild turtle then, to be honest, but it's okay to go wild turtle occasionally. We didn't have MF. This could be- Oh! Kill her! Ult! She could have just ulted and then probably killed the Jinx, but oh well. Alright, so we're currently 10 1 2. Two assists. I am a big team player. Um, oh god, what are you doing? That rise did that quite weird. Ooh, baby! Just want to attack the brand! No. Alright, let's just group as five. There's a lot of derping going on. Even derping in my kind of area, too. I'll just get rid of the Sudir in top lane. Run, Mundo! Uh, yeah, he's probably dead. Potentially. Don't know how quick he is. <laughs> okay. I was like, hang on. Is he Houdini? <laughs> Goes in one hat and doesn't come out it. Okay, let's push this up. Yeah, our group was five when everybody's alive, and then we can just like ruffle stomp a team fight and win the game. We really need an inhib though. Like for the amount of pressure that we've had on the map, we actually haven't got an inhib yet, which is actually not very good. And now she's taking my red. No. Hopefully she isn't building um, Shiv as well, because Shiv and Rapid Fire no longer stack. Okay, I'm on my way mid. Rise is doing blue. Alright, just get this. And I'm like still like full health. Well, will be. Jinx! Got a... <laughs> Got them Terminator Mundo! Mundo needs the Terminator skin. He just doesn't give up. 
All right, there we go. Group is five, Ruffle Slumber team fight, and win the game. There you go, that was a, the easiest prediction I've ever done, I think. Hey, look, she ulted. <laughs> you can't kill me. Uh, I will some, no, I died, Thunderlords. Ah, damn. Anyway, that will be it for today's game. So I'm really happy that we're back on track on another win, and we actually played pretty good. At the end, I kind of started mucking around a bit, but it was after the game was pretty much already won. Um, so let's look at score, what we did, how much damage we did, and all that stuff. Well, that Christmas song has just come on. Um, right. So we gained 17 LP. Oh, no, it's going to happen again, isn't it? <laughs> I need 18 LP from the next game to get promotion series. We're going to get another 17 to be on 99. But anyway... We went an S plus, yeah, that was easy predictable. 1125, uh, 227 CS, which is actually the most in the game. Which is actually surprising, I didn't focus on CS near the end. Did the most damage on my team, and second most in the game, Brand did do the most. So that's going to be it for today's game, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. This was Mundo. Um, so throw a like on it if you did like it. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.